2 Samuel chapter 2. And it came to pass. Notice how that's, that's quite frequent. It came to pass. It's a history. It's a story. After this, that David inquired of the Lord, saying, now remember, he's got the ephah. He's got a bivar the priest. Shall I go up into the cities of Judah? Remember, he's down south in Ziglag. And the Lord said unto him, Go up. And David said, Whither shall I go up? And he, God, said unto, said unto Hebron. So David went up thither and two wives also, Ahilnam the Jezreitess, and Abigail, Nabal's wife, the Cameron. It's amazing how that keeps showing up with Abigail. They will not free her from Nabal. And his men that were with him did David bring up, those are the 600, every man with his household, remember those household, they were taken captives by the, by the Amalekites in Ziglag. They've been all restored, and they're marching with David to Hebron. And they dwelt in the cities of Hebron. And the men of Judah came, and they were, and there they anointed David king over the house of Judah. Now there is the kingdom. And they told David, saying that the men of Jebish Gilead were they that buried Saul. Now, first of all, about this anointed, 1 Samuel 16, 13. 1 Samuel 16, 13. David is anointed twice. And the first time is likened to Jesus Christ. In the wording. In 1 Samuel 16, 13. And Samuel took the horn of oil, would be olive oil, and anointed him, which was David, in the midst of his brethren, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Saul rose up and went to Rimmah. And then Saul gets that evil spirit. So this is two times David's been anointed. The first time he didn't get the kingdom. Now about Saul. 1 Samuel 10.1 1 Samuel 10.1 And we'll look at two verses with Saul. In 1 Samuel 10.1 Then Samuel took a vial of oil and poured it upon his head, that would be Saul, and kissed him. There was no kiss for David recorded. You know what Judas did? And said, Is it not because the Lord has anointed thee to be captain over his inheritance? Now, one other place in 1 Samuel, 11.15. 11.15. And this is just like where we are now in 2 Samuel. But there's something missing for Saul. And I can't see it. It's that 11. Oh, yeah, my favorite. 11.15. 11, 15. 11, 15. And all the people went to Gilgal. And there they made Saul king before the Lord in Gilgal. And there they sacrificed sacrifice of peace offering before the Lord. And there Saul and all the men of Israel rejoiced greatly. There's no saying of anointing. There's a sacrifice. But they made Saul, certified Saul as king. Whereas David... His certification here before the people, he's also re-anointed as king. And back in 2 Samuel 2, verse 5. And David sent messengers unto the men of Jabez Gilead. Those are the ones that went into the Philistines, grabbed the body of Saul and his sons, Jonathan, went and burnt the bodies and buried them. Blessed be ye of the Lord. That ye have showed this kindness unto your Lord, that would have been Saul. Even unto Saul, see, and had buried him. He was just hanging on the wall, rotting, decaying. Who knows what would have happened to that body if they hadn't stepped in. 
Now the Lord show kindness and truth unto you. And I also requite, it means to repay, the reward, you with kindness, with this kindness, because ye have done this thing. Therefore now let your hands be strengthened, and be ye valiant, for your master Saul is dead. And also the house of Judah unto David have anointed me king over them. I'm the king now. Really? But Abner, the son of Ner, captain of Saul's host. Now we got two groups of people. We've got still Saul, though he's dead. We've got David. Abner is the head of Saul's family, the military. Captain of Saul's host took Ishbaneth, that means a man of shame. What a name to name your child. The son of Saul. And brought him over to Mahanaim. And made him king over Gilead. Uh oh, now we got two kings in, in the land of Israel. We've got David. And we got Ishbanit. You're going to have a civil war. And made him king over Gilead. Not over Israel. And over the Asherites. And over Jezreel. And over Ephraim. And over Benjamin, that's the family of Saul, and over all Israel. But God does not honor this. In the line of kings, God never mentions Ishbosheth. He mentions Saul, and then it goes to David by God's account. And Ish Ishbosheth, Saul's son, was 40 years old when he began to reign over Israel and reigned two years. That's not long. But the house of Judah. Follow David. Now, do you see already Israel and Judah split? And we're not even to Rehoboam and Jeroboam. For Israel says, Judah, bye bye. Israel and Judah seem to always have this clash between each other. In the time that David was king in Hebron, over the house of Judah was seven years and six months. Now, he's going to reign for 40 years, but seven of those years, and half a month, I mean six months, half a year. He's in Hebron while Ishbanish is reigning two years. So there's five and a half years minus the two years from Ishbanish. The nation's divided. Abner, now this is David's side, the son of Ner. And the servants of Ish, I mean Abner, this is the, this is, excuse me, this is Saul's. And Abner, the son of Ner, and the servants of Ishmanith, the son of Saul, went out from Menahem to Gibeah. And Joab, this is David's side, this is David's army, David's military leader. The sons of Zeruiah, that's interesting. And we're going to look at that in a moment. Zeruiah. And the servants of David went out and met together by the pool. That's the first time the pool ever shows up in the Bible. Of Gibna. And it's not going to be a good pool. And they sat down. And one on the one side of the pool. And the other on the other side of the pool. So here on this side is David's men. Here on the other side is Saul's men. One side has Abner, the other side has Joab. And they're looking at each other across the pool. And Abner, Saul's side, said to Joab, David's side, Let the young men now rise and play before us. Now that word play first shows up when Adam, I mean, when Aaron makes that golden calf and they play before us. This play is war games. Let the soldiers rise and let them play. Let them battle. And Joab, David's side, gotta keep getting this, can't get this mixed up. Let them arise. Let them do battle. They're gonna have a war, civil war, over this pool. And then there arose and went over by number of twelve of Benjamin. Here comes Benjamin fighting again as the end of Book of Judges. 
which pertained to Ishbanish, the son of Saul, and the twelve of the servants of David, twelve on twelve. So it starts. And they caught every man his fellow by the head and thrust his sword in his fellow's side. The first civil war of Israel, and it's the men of Saul versus the men of David, and Abner was the lead of this whole thing. So they fell down together, wherefore that place was called Helikiah Hazarum, field of the swords. i tell you what kind of battle was going on there, which is in Gibna, or Gibeon, either or. Now watch, important fact, you got to get this fact, and there was a very sore battle that day. God honors this as a battle, as a war. And Abner was beaten. And the men of Israel before the servants of David, Abner's losing. The side of Saul is losing. And there went three sons of Zariah. There's that one again. Joab, Abishai, and Asio. And Asio was light of the foot, he could run well, as a wild roe, that's the first time that roe shows up, deer. Roe versus wade, first time roe shows up in the Bible, it describes a soldier running, being able to run, climb mountains. And as he pursued after Abner, as he was like, I'm going to get a war prize, I'm getting the general. I'm going after the general. And in going, he turned not to the right hand nor to the left from following Abner. He's got Abner in his sights. And Abner looked behind him and said, Art thou Asio? And he answered, I am. And they're running. And they're carrying a conversation. They're, Abner's running ahead. Asio said, Is that you, Asio? It's me. Run. And, and Abner said to him, Turn thee aside to the right hand, or to the left, thy left. Get away from me, and lay thee hold on the, lay thee hold on one of the young men, and take thee his armor. See the spoil. Go kill one of the other soldiers, and then grab his armor for a prize. Don't come after me. But Asiel has, hey, you're the general, you're the one. But Asiel would not turn aside from following of him. And Abner said again to Asahel, Turn thee aside from following me. Wherefore should I smite thee to the ground? <laughs> Look at Abner. He's the one being chased. I don't want to kill you. How then should I hold my face to Joab thy brother? Now the events is going to happen is going to change later on. How be it he refused to turn aside. Wherefore Abner, with the hinder end of his spear, so he's not using the spear end, he's using the end of the end of the pole, smote him under the fifth rib, and that's the first time that expression, fifth rib, shows up. And that's the first time rib shows up. I think Genesis says one of his ribs. I don't need to check that. Make sure that one. I think he took one of his ribs. 22 says the rib. Uh, one more page over. Bone of it, my bone. Oh, wait a minute. I'm looking at rib. 21 and And the rib was over. Here. All right, that's the first time. That's a mistake. Rib for Eve is the first time rib. Maybe that's the first time fifth shows up. Oh well, fifth rib. That's the first time the fifth rib shows up. And that'll show up a few times in the Bible. And they say that's underneath your heart, where your heart is. That fifth rib. They're all numbered. You look it up. That the spear came out behind them. 
the end of the pole. He, here is Abner. He's running. Here is Ashio behind him. He takes his pole he's holding, which is his spear, right behind him. And it gets Ashio right near, if not in the heart. And it comes out his back. And he fell down there and died in the same place. That would imply that he didn't die right away. He fell down and died in that same place. A little time. I don't know how much. Abner kills Asahil after he has warned him three times, two times. Died the same place, and it came to pass that as many as came to the place where Asahil fell down and died, stood still. We are in wartime, verse 17, battle that day. Joab also and Abishai pursued after Abner. Boy, everybody's chasing him. And the sun went down when they were come to the hill of Amah. It's getting late. It's getting dark. That he that lieth before Gath by the way of the wilderness of Gibeon. And the children of Benjamin gathered themselves together. Boy, they're always on the wrong side. After Abner and became one troop, unity, together, and stood on the top of the hill. And Abner called to Joab, and said, Shall the sword devour forever? Knowest thou not that it will be bitterness in the latter end? Look at 2.14. And Abner said to Joab, Let the young men now rise and play. You're the one that started this, Abner. And what Abner's upset about is not the battle, is he just killed Asherhill in battle. And it's almost like he knows how Joab's going to handle this. What's that? Killed Abishai. killed Abishai, Joab's brother. And he knows Joab's not going to take this. We better get the end of it before we kill anybody else. How long shall it be then? Err. Thou bid the people return from following their brethren. We're all brothers here. Let's stop this war that you started. It's your fault. This civil war was started by Abner. He's like, I've had enough of this. And Joab said, As God liveth, there's an oath. Unless thou hast spoken, surely then in the morning the people had gone up, every one from following his brother. We would carry this on to the morning. So Joab blew a trumpet, and all the people stood still. Look at that. As soon as that trumpet's blown, boop, stop. And pursued after Israel no more. Neither fought they any more. That's it in the battle. And Amner and his men walked all that night. So still night. Hasn't gotten to morning. Through the plain. And passed over the Jordan. And went through all Bethron. And they came to Manhattan. And Joab returned from following Abner. He turned away, went away, the other way. And when he had gathered all the people together, mustered them, their lack of David's servant, 19 men and Asahil. 20 total. It's been a war. It's been a decoration of war. It's been a decoration of peace. Before that peace, that trumpet's blown, Asahil has been killed. But the servants of David had smitten Benjamin and of Abner's men, so that there were 303 score dead. And only David lost 20 men. 360 men of Israel dead. And they took Asahil, and buried him in the sepulcher of his father, which was which was in Bethlehem. And Joab and his men went all night, and they came to Hebron at the break of the day. So they're returning back to David. The children of Israel go their way back to Ishbanish. Joab, the children of Judah and David, they go back to where David is. Now it's interesting. Let's look at Zuriah, Joab, Abishai, and Asahil for a moment. 
Let's take our Bibles to 1 Chronicles 2.16. 1 Chronicles 2.16. And we're going to get a little insight between David and Joab to understand what goes on between these two. Because Joab turns out to be trouble. So, 1 Chronicles 2.16. We'll look at verse 15. That's the, the brothers of David, Osniel the sixth, David the seventh, whose sisters were, all right, here's the sisters of David and his brothers, Zuriah and Abigail. Look how that Abigail keeps coming up in David's life. And the sons of Zuriah, Abishai, Joab, and Asahel. Joab, Asahel, and Abishai are nephews, if I believe, the family of David by his sister. And keeping your place there, 2 Samuel 17 25. Keep your place in Chronicles. 2 Samuel 17 25. We're going to look at David's family real quick. Second Samuel 17, 25. And Absalom made Amza captain of his host instead of Joab. That's another family. That's his son. Absalom. David's got trouble with his family. Which Amasa was a man's son whose name was Athira, an Israelite, Jew. That went into Abigail, the daughter of Nahash, sister to Zariah, Joab's mother. Is it possible that Jesse has another name right there, Nathan? Nahash. Or, 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 the daughter of Nahash. Notice how Zariah is the sister mentions Joab's mother that is either David Nahan that's either Jesse or there's a name of David's mother in the Bible Nahan now we don't know if that's a female or a male's name but if you were to take the count of Zariah that's a woman it says over here keep your place there it says right here what daughter of Nahan comma sister to so that would be the female. That would be his mother. There it is. Yeah. I don't know family relations. I was shown that before. So there's David's mother. There's his two sisters, Abigail and Zariah, with, with a bunch of brothers. And back to First Chronicles two, when you see that Abishai, Joab, and Asahel are David's nephews and one of his nephews was just killed by an enemy now later on we're going to get Abner and David together and Joab is not going to like it and I'm trying to say when we're doing all this we need to get this family. we need to realize this is one big family here because I will tell you what's going to happen Nahash was sister to Zariah who was Joab's mother, then David and Joab are cousins. Cousins? All right. I don't know the family related. So they're cousins. And the reason I'm getting that so early here because Asahel is killed in battle. Joab is going to outrightly, without no battle, he's going to kill Abner. And so when you quote, thou shalt not kill, Abner killing Asahel in battle, God says, hey, that's what happened. That's battle. That's war. But when Joab does it, it's an act of murder by God. And we're also going to see that not only Joab, but Abishai is also going to be charged with that later. And Abishai doesn't touch Abner at all. 
which will come to the conclusion, which we will get to that point, once you see it here. Not only is Joab angry, Abishai is angry too. And the Bible says, be angry and sin not. Abishai gets to the, angry, to the angry point that, man, he wishes that he was dead. Meanwhile, David, who is their cousin, and forgive me for not knowing the family relations, you would think David would get all upset and he takes it calm and cool. Matter of fact, he gets angry with Joab for doing what he did to Abner. And we'll get that further. It'll lay out further. But I just want you to see, here's the family. And here is Abishai. Asheshiel, excuse me, Asheshiel, he's killed in battle. Get that. Well, we get anything today.